This happened many years ago in a small country village in Alabama. One day, the storekeeper looked up and saw a pale young woman in a gray dress standing at the counter. What can I do for you, ma'am? He said. She did not answer, but pointed to a bottle of milk. The storekeeper handed it to her, and without a word, she walked quickly out of the store and down the main street of the town. The next day, she came back. What will you have today, ma'am? The storekeeper asked. The young woman in gray again pointed to a bottle of milk. The storekeeper handed it to her, and once again, the woman took the milk and hurried away without saying a word. That night, the storekeeper told his neighbors about the strange young woman in gray with the sad, pale face who came every day for milk and walked away without thanks or payment in silence. So the next day, when the woman in gray appeared and again walked away with the milk without speaking, two or three of the villagers followed her. She walked swiftly down the main street of the town. The men were amazed that they almost had to run to keep sight of her. She passed the school. She passed the church. She kept right on through the little town up the hill to the graveyard. She passed swiftly in among the graves and stones and trees, seemed to stop for a minute, and then was gone. The followers stood quietly beside the grave where the slender gray figure had seemed to pause. It was the new-made grave of a young mother and her baby daughter who had died three days ago of a fever. In fact, she had died just one day before she first came into the store for milk. It all seemed so strange and mysterious that the villagers thought they ought to investigate. So they came back with shovels and soon unearthed the young mother's coffin. Then, while they were moving the coffin, they heard, or thought they heard, a tiny, muffled wail. They listened. They heard it again, the feeble little cry of a baby. Quickly, they opened the coffin. Yes, here was the frail young mother in gray who had come for the milk, and in her arms lay a baby girl, ill and weak, but alive. Beside her lay the empty milk bottles. One of the men took the baby home to his wife, and the little life was saved. No one ever saw the young mother in gray again. She had accomplished her task. She had saved her baby girl. Now she could rest.